guys what's good it's your girl cutie and i'm back with another quick video you guys so i'm going to share my screen but i'm also going to um i'm going to what is the word i'm looking for read this article because the article i actually cannot put it on my screen um but i'm about to read it to y'all so all right Anyway, you guys, so y'all just look at the little video while I read the article, okay? So it says the article was written by uh, Tawan Mormon of USA Today. And the article says, 50 Cent is suing his ex-girlfriend, Daphne Joy Narvarez, for defamation after she accused him of grape and physical A-B-U-S-E, Okay. Um, so filed Monday in Harris County, Texas, the lawsuit comes over a month after Daphne made the allegations following the rapper's comments on her being named in a civil lawsuit by producer Rodney Lerod Jones Jr. against Sean Diddy Combs. OK, so in a March Instagram post, Daphne addressed 50 Cent by his birth name, Curtis Jackson, and criticized the candy shop. Man for wrecking real havoc, frenzy, and chaos onto people's lives after he seemingly made light of Jones's allegations about Daphne being among the women who were allegedly paid a monthly fee to work, okay, as one of Diddy's workers, okay. She also blasted her ex boyfriend 50 Cent for allegedly, um, blank physically, you know of her as well as his lack of involvement in their son's life um of course you guys know that they do share one son okay so um this article also says let's put the real focus on your true uh i guess this is what allegedly um daphne wrote to 50 cent okay so she says let's put the real focus on your true evil uh, actions of graping me and physically blanking me joy wrote at the time you have permanently damaged the last hope I had for you as a father to preserve our family with these last and final false claims made against me. So, child, this, let me tell y'all something. This is crazy, okay? So now 50 Cent is hitting back, claiming that Daphne retaliated against him for seeking sole custody of their child by immediately talk, uh, taking to the internet and publishing multiple defamatory statements on her public Instagram account, okay? So, y'all, this is a really, really, really crazy story, you guys, and it's very unfortunate. But sometimes, like I said before, y'all, y'all know how things are when people just can't get along. And you know what I'm saying? Y'all know that 50 Cent is a troll, but I mean, he doesn't necessarily do just too much damage. But 50 Cent kind of lay low because now we ain't forget how you threw the microphone at that girl now, 50. All right. But he didn't mean to do it. He did throw it in the audience and it just accidentally hit the girl. So let me clear that up because I do believe it was accident. OK. But again, this is a situation that is just crazy, y'all, okay? So moving right along. So next, you guys, we get into um, Yasmin Lopez and Christian Wood, you guys. Uh, very, very crazy article, and I wanted to discuss it real quick, y'all. I don't know if y'all know them. I don't really know them. But um, Christian Woods, I guess, is a Los Angeles Lakers, you guys. And Yasmin Lopez is accusing him, which is his baby mother, okay? Uh, she is accusing him of attacking her in a physical encounter earlier this month, okay? Um, so it says TMZ Sports has learned, but this his circle is adamant she's making the whole thing up in retaliation. Wood has recently granted a three-year restraining order and sole custody of their 10-month-old son after he accused Lopez of stalking him and other things, damaging his property, including two luxury vehicles on multiple occasions and keeps uh, their child from him. So the social media influencer filed for a, domestic, a, a DV restraining order of her own this week, you guys, um, accusing a 28-year-old pro, pro man of grabbing her legs and yeah, and yeah, da, 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 with the child present, okay? So Lopez claims that she suffered a lot of things going on, rashes and this, that, and the third. You guys can go back and look at this article if you want to look at the exact, you know, marks and everything. Um, she also stated Wood texted her not to report what happened because the Lakers run this town. She also accused him of purposely leaving her in the dark about court proceedings so that he could um, obtain his court orders without a response from her. So Lopez added that she has lived in fear 
of what is going to happen to her son and what Christian is going to do to her next. Okay, that is what she allegedly said. But now I hear you guys that he, I guess he has custody and she has visitation, y'all. And um, she, I think she has visitation for uh, three hours a week or something like that, y'all. So um, he did, you know, it, it was a lot of things going back and forth, but ultimately it did end up in him, you know what I'm saying, having those three, uh, you know, gaining full custody of their child allegedly and, you know, um, and I'm saying allegedly because I can't remember if it was full soul custody. I think it was. I think it was, though. But yeah, so he um, and she, like I said, she gets three hours a week. So, girl, that is crazy. Ladies, this has to stop now. You got to stop letting these ninjas get in your head and in your bed. OK, now all ninjas are not the same. However, you got to be careful with destroying people's property and et cetera, because I think I've seen some footage of this girl hopping over this man gate doing this dead in the third. Now you have supervised visits with your child for only three hours a week. And y'all, let me just be real with y'all. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. I would not wish that on any mother, especially a little bitty small 10 month old precious baby boy or i think it's a girl but I'm, i want to say it's a boy but anyway i that's not here or there i just wouldn't wish that on anybody because that is a lot y'all okay i'm just being real with y'all so hopefully they can get this situated and kind of you know it looks like it just needs to be some growing up on both ends and i mean she did have marks on her legs but these days y'all we don't know what goes on or who did what child we don't know all right so moving along now, y'all do know that JT and Sukihana has been going back and forth. JG, JT, excuse me, just dropped a extended release of her new single, OK? And it's just been a big thing. Y'all know these rap girls. They love coming on here. They love fighting. They love to, you know, beef or whatever the case may be, you guys. Um but it's the fact that they still out here just beefing y'all, okay? They tussling and nobody really cares, okay? Now, Suki Hana, she did eat on her on her little uh, diss track a little bit. And JT, allegedly, I guess she threw in the white flag and Suki called her a cokehead. Sis is giving sandpaper, okay? Because this is a dry beef, okay? And these celebrities, they love throwing that name cokehead, cokeolina at each other. First of all, let y'all tell that none of y'all do it, okay? The thing, and the main thing is just, just mind your business, baby. Cokeolina or coke Sean, baby. Let them be coking over there in coke bliss, all right? Just leave the folks alone. But anyway, this is a really dry beef, and I just wish that they would just move along with it, just like I'm about to do now. Move along, okay? So... Kelly Rowland and her husband, um, they are celebrating 10 years of marriage, you guys. Okay, so we're going to read this little message that Kelly has up here for her and her husband. Okay, so she says to the greatest man I've ever known, the best decision I've ever made. I love you with my whole heart. And then some I ain't no walking apart all the time. Neither are you, LOL. But when we apply God's love to us, our family and our home, we can't get through anything. Happy 10 years, my love. Here's to forever. So I just think that Kelly and her husband are definitely just the cutest thing in my humble opinion. I don't know if he's older or if she's older. I'm not quite sure about that. But I think that they are just a beautiful couple. And I think that they make a beautiful home together. Again, that's just my little opinion. OK, um, but again, y'all, I just can't unsee her. Um, you know, being in that movie with Travante, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Nevertheless, you know, she is following in Beyonce's footstep. Okay. And she is trying to, you know, make her love last. And I think that is remarkable. I think that is very, very beautiful. Okay. So shout out to Kelly and her husband, for a very beautiful, what, 10 years, I believe. And I just think that's wonderful. Okay. Um, but yeah, you guys moving along. Let's get to Roly, y'all. So Roly, um, I guess there is a little bit of tussle that had happened between her and her ex, you guys. Um, so y'all, it's just a hot mess. Okay. So Roly's ex, Travis, is here to get some things off of his chest, y'all. Okay. Now, allegedly, he used to follow all of the baddies and, you know, their spam pages and et cetera. Okay. Uh, oh, child. Now, y'all know Roly and Travis uh, was going back and forth just recently on the internet, and they posted each other's come over slash Netflix and chill text messages, okay? I don't even understand why that couldn't just stay in their in little DMs, okay? Uh, nobody really cares about that. 
Um, but it was a lot of stuff he was saying in the comments, you guys. And he was up there saying allegedly that Roly had an odor and she stunk. OK, now, listen, sir, why do you have to tell us all that about this girl? Let this girl live her life. Why are you up in? You know, let me tell you something. First of all, I'm not really fond of Roly. Um, I just feel like a lot of the things and a lot of the ways that I saw with her on the show, I'm just not really fond of. That's just my humble opinion. But again, sir, let the girl live, okay? If she stunk or she stinks allegedly, which I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. Let that lady live in peace. She not bothering nobody. She over there doing her show. She's enjoying her surgery. Let that child enjoy what she wants to enjoy, okay? So moving along, you guys. Okay, you guys, so up next, we do have Kamora Lee Simmons, you guys. Um, she had a lot to say about her daughter um, and the little fiasco that the daughter had going on with, I guess, the older man or whatnot, you guys. Y'all know Kamora got a whole bus load of cheering, child, okay? But she's talking about Aoki, uh, the daughter, one of the daughters that she shares with Russell Simmons, all right? So anyway, y'all know about the little fiasco that happened. And so Kamora did an interview with TMZ girl and she had a lot to say. I'm not going to play the interview. I don't like to too much play too many people stuff because TMZ baby look, I'm just saying. Um, but uh, child Kamora Lee Simmons spoke with TMZ and she said that she was a little embarrassed by Aoki Lee's fling with the older man. And also Kamora said that she felt Aoki was set up. Well, sis, I just feel like, you know, let her live her life, okay? She's grown and this, that, and the third. Because, you know, A-OK -okay ain't out here saying, well, mama, now listen now. You done got this, baby, daddy, damn, baby, daddy, this, that, and the third. So let the gal live a life. I mean, was it a little bit different seeing her with the older man? Yes, it was. Because, I mean, you know, wouldn't nobody expect a young lady as herself to be uh, frolicking or lollygagging with an elderly man, okay? Not saying nothing is wrong with it because she is of age. She's her age, even though he was like four quadruple times her age. She is of age now to where she can make that decision. So, um, yeah, I thought it was a little strange for her to say, oh, I was a little embarrassed, baby. She grown, baby. Just, just let her live, okay? Moving along. Yes, girl. Now we have Tyrese, girl, Mr. How You Gonna Act Like That Gibson, okay? Now, y'all, y'all know Tyrese comes up here. He gets to talking about them wives and all of that. But, y'all, Tyrese fires back at his ex-ex-wife, y'all, Normal Mitchell. Not the one he just divorced, the one before her, okay? Um, but he does clap back and claims that she stole him uh, from him and issued threats, okay? So shout out to the Jasmine brand for this amazing content. The Jasmine brand says, Tyrese has fired back at his ex-wife, Norma Mitchell, after she requested a restraining order against him. In a lengthy IG post shared on Thursday, he claims his ex-wife caused him not to be able to reach their daughter for 100 days back in 2017 due to a previous restraining order after he allegedly spanked their daughter, okay? He then claimed that Norma was actually the one who was a threat. And um, he says, for all of the proof and evidence and everything that she is literally done on her own, from tax invasion to unaliving threats, extortion letters, defamation, going over three years without paying 50% of our daughter's tuition, logging into my bank account and literally stealing money out of it, Tyrese wrote, okay? So uh, Tyrese is suing him, well, Mitchell, sorry, sorry, the woman is suing him uh, for defamation as well. And it's also alleging that the uh, her uh, husband, ex Tyrese, hasn't paid his portion of their child's tuition as well. So y'all, let me tell y'all something. This, this, this is a lot. Okay. I'm not about to read this whole thing that Tyrese the wrote because good y'all know Tyrese get to writing poetry and crying and things like that, which is nothing that's wrong with a man crying. Okay. Um, uh, now Tyrese, this is my thing. I'm gonna say to you now, baby, you can tell everything, but you forget to mention that you allegedly didn't pay that baby's intuition, which I really don't believe that. I mean, that baby's tuition. I don't really believe that, but again, alleged. Okay. Now, if the alleged allegations are true about what the wife is saying, then she is wrong too. Um, and what Tyrese is saying about her, she wrong about that too. Okay. But Tyrese, 
uh, that came up here too many times about these wives of his, y'all, as if his plate is clean. And y'all, it, it, it's just a lot. I ain't gonna lie to you, okay? Tyrese, you got to get it together, my brother. Now, I know things is going on and da-da-da-da-da, but Tyrese just let it alone, okay? Um, hopefully, he can get this stuff situated with his ex-wife and the ex-ex-wife girl. It's just so many exes, I'm just confused. It's a lot of wives going on, all right? So anyway, you guys, Erica Banks, y'all, Mrs. Busted herself. Um, she had a little quick message to say about 50 Cent. She said, I don't know, 50 Cent was looking real yummy last night. I'll do him some bad. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, girl. 50 Cent is a nice looking man. He's not a girl, 50 Cent look nice. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I think he's very attractive, especially when he was on uh, what's the show, y'all? I can't even think. What's the show? Um, power. Oh, love power. Y'all don't mind me. Y'all know I had that concussion shot. I'll be forgetting. But, um, yes. Yeah, so power. I loved him on power girl. It was amazing. Even though he, you know, he, he did good on it. So y'all moving along, let's go ahead and get into Miss Ruby Rose. First of all, I think Ruby Rose is a very beautiful woman. I really do. I think she's very, I think she's cute as a button. I really do. Um, but sis had a few things that she wanted to get off of her chest. Okay. So, um, shout out to Jess, to the Jasmine brand again for this article. It says Ruby Rose's dating history is getting lots of attention amid her new relationship with Drewski. OK, so it says on Thursday, May 9th, an old interviewer that Ruby Rose did with DJ. Well, I'm sorry, interview. Sorry. An old interview that Ruby Rose did with DJ Vlad resurfaced. OK, so in the chat, which initially aired in 2019, Ruby Rose breaks down, you know, who um, she had and had not dated at the time. Um, and asked about Travis Scott. She confessed that she did date Travis Scott. And she said, and I quote, when I was younger, Ruby was 21 when the interview premiered on YouTube. So it's unclear how much younger she was when she dated Travis Scott. She also added, oh, wait, I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do this game. Should I do this game? She decided to continue so she could clear up who she had in dating. Okay. So she also admitted to dating 21 Savage. She said again, when I was younger, she added of the rappers, I was with them a long time ago. Like, and I'm like, oh, okay. So y'all, y'all listen. So DJ Vlad pointed out that Ruby Rose was only 21. So it couldn't have been too long ago. She smiled and nodded adding of her response. I'm just kidding. She also denies rumor that she had dated Cam Newton, Soldier Boy and Lily. Ooh, child. Hold on now, Ruby, girl. So it says Ruby is now 26 and Travis Scott is 33, meaning they have an age difference of seven years. 21 Savage is 31. So he and Ruby Rose are five years apart. Given the age gap, many fans speculate that she dated the rappers when she was a minor, allegedly. However, um, that hasn't been proven or confirmed. Still, fans have been doing some investigating and pulled an Instagram photo that Ruby posted in July 2014. Travis, who was 23 at the time, liked the photo. And Ruby was 16. Um, the same week, she also alluded to lying about her age to NFL players. Girl, players with an S? Ooh. Also in 2014, she alleged just got invited to fly out to Cali to watch my boot play, go Chargers. The only question is, will my mom say yes? Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Um, she also tweeted a message to Travis later in 2014 that read, I'm saving me for you, girl. So this is, listen, that ain't none of my business. I ain't trying to judge nobody. I wasn't there. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, what it ain't. I'm just reporting what the people want to see. And girl, this is a major, major, major uh, thing, y'all. I'm just saying. Now, Ruby, did you have to spill your own tea to the people, baby? Maybe you could have kept this one in the vault. Or maybe, better yet, you could have took this to the grave with you, baby. You ain't even have to tell nobody none of this, all right? But anyway, you guys, let me know what you think. My name is Cutie TV. That's my time. I'll see you guys in the next one.